cloud. Done. Thank you. Thanks, Michael. Bye. Hi, everybody. I thought I knew Zoom well, but apparently I don't. <laughs> um, so we're going to um, we're going to uh, do a little uh, fun stuff today. But first off, I want to see everybody. So participants, I want to view everybody. So is it possible? If it's possible for me to see you, can you um, allow yourselves to be seen? That would be great. Hi, and I think it would also be fun, <clears throat> just for fun today, if you don't mind unmute, uh, unmuting yourselves. So there's gonna be a quite a great cacophony of sound, but I think it will be kind of fun. Um, so I need to get rid of all of my other things here. And uh, what's this? Good. So I thought what we'd do is we're just going to do a couple of things. We can't do a full warm-up because we obviously we don't have time. But I, there are a couple of things I want to try to do with you. And then I have a, a line of Dothraki. It's a difficult line. Uh, it's one of the less racier lines I could find. So <laughs> hopefully, uh, hopefully it's family friendly. Um, are you ready? Yeah, yeah, okay, good. So I'd like to, just to save our voices a little bit, could we hum a little bit? But if you remember way back to the first um, little class I gave on this site, um, I mentioned how humming just the vocal folds nice and warm. Now I know you've been talking today because it's, you know, in the afternoon, but let's try to bring that sound forward. And as I mentioned long ago, I'm going to ask you to allow the jaw to be relaxed, the tongue to be on the bottom of your, like resting on your bottom of your mouth and your lips lightly together. And we're going to imagine that this hum is coming up through our body, through our legs, all the way from our feet, as opposed to trying to hum from here. Okay, good. Are you ready? Here we go. Breathe when you need to. Good. Humming is excellent to warm up your voice. It's a great thing to do in the shower. Nobody will notice because the shower will be too loud. And uh, as long as you remember to do those few things that they're um, uh, relaxed jaw, relaxed tongue, and lips lightly together, they, sh they should tickle. If they're not tickling, something's tight when you're pushing from somewhere, okay? Good. All right, we're gonna, um, we're gonna trill a few things. We're gonna go And you breathe when you need to and keep going, okay? But again, try to imagine that the impulse for this is coming from your feet. And hey, you know what? Nobody else can hear you because they're all just making their own sounds, so don't worry about it. Good, okay. So that's a, a, that's called a bilabial uh, trill or a flap. Uh, we're going to move on now. We're going to do a tongue trill. Some people find this really hard, but let's do our best. Uh, we're simply going to try to sound like we're going. <laughs> so my mouth is nice open and my tongue is up near the back of my top front teeth and I'm blowing air over it, flapping it. Good. Now we're going to try to make that into a little bit of a sentence. We're going to go ra, 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 
Especially for you older folks who've watched some Looney Tunes, when those characters are screaming or or uh, singing, and their mouths are way open in cartoons, you see a funny little thing that looks like a funny shaped U at the middle of their mouth, and that's sort of a cartoon version of a thing called the uvula, and that the uvula hangs down from your uh, soft palate, so it's part of the soft palate. It helps us with a certain sound. It also helps us with our gag reflex. So it's a useful item. Uh, hopefully we don't work so hard today that you feel like you're going to be sick, but I don't think you will be. Um, some people find this really hard, but I'm going to ask you to imagine, don't go and get water, but imagine you've got some water or some mouthwash in your mouth. Here we go. Are awesome. We're just going to tip our heads back a little bit and we're going to pretend we're gargling. And as we do it, we're going to try to bring our head up. Good. Now, here's a little bit of help. Do you remember long ago I asked you to, to make different shapes with your tongue? So I'm going to ask you to raise the back of your tongue just a little bit. So it'll look, this is the back of my tongue and this is the front near my teeth. So it'll look a little bit like this, uh, but there needs to be space there and that's gonna help us a little bit. Okay, good. So these trills, you can really good. Someone's still working away at that. That's excellent. Um, right now, you're having trouble, some people. Doesn't mean you can't do it. It just means that you haven't done it before. Okay, so it's just some, one of those things that we work away on. Okay, somebody's chatted with me, just like the Spanish are. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Good. So um, if you speak one of those uh, uh, Spanish or French um, or German, that sound will come into a lot of those um, uh, languages. Okay, I'm going to share my screen. Now, you got to promise me, an actor sent me this in confidence, but I'm going to share it with you. I've retyped it out, <clears throat> but this is from one of the episodes of uh, uh, Game of Thrones. So the line means pink people are afraid of the sun, burns their skin. So this pink girl, she probably stands too long in the sun and her hair goes white. So if you've watched Game of Thrones, you know that the lead female had very, very white hair. Uh, or super, super blonde hair. <laughs> um, so that's what we're saying. Are you ready? So this is, this is the line as written, and this is um, not pure IPA phonetics, but phonetics that a lot of us can figure out. I'm going to ask you to try to say this first line without me saying anything. <laughs> is anybody going to be brave? <laughs> you can mute yourself and give it a try. I can't read it that well, actually. Oh, all right. Let me uh, mm -hmm. let me make it bigger. Wait, I just read it. I think I know how to do it. Do you? Who's that? Who's talking to me? Who said they think? Is that Caden? Yes. Want to give it a go? You brave soul. Let's go. Let's try it. <laughs> 
What's just the first word? Oh. Ha <laughs> yes, you're right. And now, chickies. Oh, you're so close. You're so close, buddy. Congratulations. Good, good stab at that. It's Hanavanaki. Hanavanaki. Hmm. Hanavanaki. So you got at half right. That's good. Rohi, I think. Shikres, I think. Watch, let's see if I'm right. Now, what I've done is I've put this whole line here into a special uh, app I've got called Twisted Wave. <laughs> and we'll go to the original and we're going to listen. <laughs> that sounds pretty hard, doesn't it? Okay, we're going to go to this. Okay, now hold on. He's going to go even slower now. Even slower. And I'm going to pause it after each sentence and let's give it a go. Be brave. Yeah. No, nobody's going to hear you except me and I, I can barely hear you. So it's all right. Okay. Okay. I can't uh, see it. See oh yeah, I'm going to I'm going to I just need to see this for a second. Mm -hmm. That's my special little machine so I can pause mm -hmm. and stuff like that. I just want to go from here. Yeah? Hanavanaki. Rohi. Hanavanaki. Rohi. Yes. Hanavanaki. Rohi. Yes. Very good. All right. Let's go back. We're going to go back to this again. And we'll try to do it with this guy. Shall we? Yes. Hanavanaki. Good. How's it going, everybody? I only hear two voices, so. Good. Good? Okay. Any questions? Any questions? No. No? Okay. Um, let's go. Let's continue on. Okay, good. Oh, you know what's hard? Me aversai. I'm very you can't, you can't hear this when you're all talking, can you? So maybe you better mute yourselves so that everybody can hear this. And we'll go back. Oh, 
Anna Venezi. Isis me Kuvara Torga Sehi Katne Akari Sekke Bajin Noref Zaspasoe. Now that last bit that can you can you try to do that? Let me close my door. It's too much noise. Can you just try for yourself going ka ga ga ka ka? It's coming it's right at the back of your mouth that this is happening. It's a glottal onset. Ka. You could try starting with a ka, ka, and a g, g, and then we'll take the actual sound out of it. It'll just be g, 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 ka, g. Yeah. That kind of sound? G, 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 g. Good. G. All right, so now that you've had a chance, and fortunately half an hour is, is always feels like we're racing. But let's try just looking at this now and see if we can remember. Um, you see the word, the words that are in, or the bits of the words that are in capital letters. That means that they get stress, as you, I'm sure you noticed. But also, you may have listened, heard, and we will listen one more time. Those vowel sounds get really lengthened out and they dive into the vowel sounds and really let them live, you know? So let's listen one more time and then we're going to try it without our buddy to help us. Anna Venaki. Rohi. Sheches. Me. Abirsai ilik moroa Bajin Jin Hanna Venesi Isis me Kuvara Torga Shehi Katne Akari Sekke Bajin Noreth Zaskasoe. You know what? This, I think, should be. Uh, are you feeling brave? Should we try it? Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. I'm gonna come back here. Anybody find that incredibly difficult? Or easy? Kinda sorta? Well, ask yourself, uh, what did I find difficult? Was it one? Liz's computer skills are terrible and she didn't move fast enough, which was my problem. Two, I couldn't quite get my mouth around some of those sounds. Three, 
The speaker, even though it was slowed down, still went too fast for me to learn something brand new. What is the thing? But if it is, I can't quite get my mouth around a certain sound, then what we want to do is we want to ask ourselves, well, what can I do to learn that skill? Because if you're on Game of Thrones for seven or eight seasons or ever, whatever it was, you don't want to end up hurting yourself uh, in order to make the sounds that you have to make. <laughs> Caden, two and three. <laughs> um, uh, so what we want to do is we want to, as I said way back when, when we started, that the aim of speech work and voice work is agility and to know how to make different sounds in different places whether you use them or not on a regular basis doesn't matter what matters is that you have the ability if someone should ask you so um for example there might be a line in a show that originally was said in English. And you get to set one day. <laughs> and um, English with an American dialect or a Canadian dialect. And you get to set one day and the director decides that they want it in Dothraki. Even though you're not a Dothraki, a Dothraki speaking character, you might be somebody else, but they've decided that they want you to say it that way. You want to have the skills. You don't want to be, oh, well, I haven't spoken it before, so I don't know how to get to that sound. Or like a friend of mine who was asked to rehearse her entire scene with a proper Queen's English RP dialect. So that's what she did. And she got to set and they said, you know what? We'd like it to be a Scottish dialect. A, Sc a Scottish dialect. And not a bad one, a good one. Bad Scottish dialects are a dime a dozen, but you want it to be authentic. So uh, lucky for them, she has Scottish parents. But if it had been me, I, I would have been, I would have been under the gun to uh, find it uh, 10 years ago. So it's, it's the agility that I encourage you, no matter where you study or who you study with, I encourage you to uh, work on the agility. And those of you who are uh, younger, and you're still in a place where you are playing with sounds and voices when you uh, play games and create characters and things like that. Um, I encourage you to keep going with that. Some people may say, well, that sounds silly. Uh, it doesn't. It's a good skill to have, a very good skill to have. And um, uh, just make sure that you're not hurting your voice when you do it. That's all I ask is try to, try to be safe with it. Okay, so I would like to, well, I can't, uh, I can't unmute you all, but I'd like to have a little talk in our last few minutes. Hi. Hi, hi everybody. Um, does anybody have any questions? We, we did a little breath work first time. Second time we did a little speech work. And this time we did something fun because I felt you earned it. <laughs> Um, it's a bit crazy and a bit difficult, but um, there are lots of shows out there, lots in Vancouver, maybe not Game of Thrones, but the 100 has another language in it. Star Trek has been shot here before, bits of Star Wars have been shot here before, and uh, people are being asked to, to speak these, what are called constructed languages. Uh, so it's a good skill to have. Given that those are the things that we went over, yes, Caden. I'm just telling you something. What's you know, that? everyone can unmute themselves. Say that again for me. Everyone can unmute themselves. Uh, yes, but only if they want to, sir. 
uh, but I think you've unmuted yourself very well. Bravo. But people have to want to unmute themselves, so I don't want to force people. Um, yes, Olivia, you, do you have a question? Have you done raspy voice before? Uh, which kind of raspy voice? Do you mean like, uh, you know, like I went to the mall and I got some new shoes, that kind of sound? Oh, like, you know, like it was so cool. Travel. Or do you mean more Travel? like... I don't want you to. <laughs> I've got a bit of a problem with my throat right now. So, oh, here's something interesting. You should know this. Uh, young people, this won't apply to you so much. But I've discovered that with whiplash, the muscles around your larynx can get weak. And so therefore... <laughs> Your voice starts to go. Yeah. Um, so those of you who are older and maybe drive a car, be wary. Uh, but there are all kinds of different raspy voices, um, Olivia. So uh, the deeper your voice is naturally, of course, the further back you can find that. Have you had to do it for something, a cartoon or anything like that? Yeah, I'm doing a uh, audition voiceover audition for Charlie Brown for a uh, peppermint patty. Yeah. Peppermint patty. So That's great. yeah, because she, she's uh, raspy and we need to do some rasp. rasp. Oh, so. I would ask them to, um, let's see. <clears throat> oh, Charlie Brown. Oh, Charlie Brown. Oh, uh, well, uh, then I would, you know what? <clears throat> That's something um, you're auditioning for it, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, um, just think of it as if you're going, uh, right? That it's just going further back in your mouth. <laughs> But I want to say this for you, for the audition. Um, ask for clarification about Raspy before you set anything. And then please, please, it doesn't have to be me, but please see a, a speech person before you, if you were to book it, Olivia, if that, if that job was yours, then I would see somebody before you do it because I don't want you to hurt your voice. You want to do it in a very safe way. And unfortunately, um, I don't think we have enough time to adequately discuss it. Okay, so um, think of, can you try? Uh, uh, it's almost like you're gargling, but without water. Good, good. You're not going to get as deep as me. It's not, it's not possible. Okay, so people have to go. Great, I have to let you go. But Olivia, if you promise me that if you book that job, you'll get some help with that, okay? And mm -hmm. break a leg, break a leg. Um, Thank you. And great. Everybody, thanks. Uh, Michael and I are trying to work out something where I can come back every now and again, so we'll see what happens, okay? Bye. 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 It's Bye. been fun. Thank you.